the year we came, 2005, was when Hurricane Katrina happened. You know, we were so scared, but it wasn't bad. We survived it. Rita came, we survived it, it wasn't bad. Ike came, I thought this house will fall down. We survived it. This time, it's unbelievable. It was like a, something you see in horror movie, something that you will, you will dream about and wake up and thank God it's a dream. I'm like, can I wake up from this dream? But it's real. My name is Grace Uwebu. I have three wonderful kids. The oldest is Bright Chidera Uwebu. He is playing for Oregon State. We moved here from Nigeria and we have lived in this house for about 13 years. Growing up here, this house was always like welcome to everyone. I feel like me, my brother, and my sisters always had our friends here. It was really easy because the people here are so friendly, was really welcoming. So that's why we settled here. What I remember about it was first, we heard the hurricane was coming and I was happy because I knew we wouldn't have any school. About 6 p.m. Monday evening, the carpet in my room was floating. Then midnight-ish, 1 a.m., I turned on the light, looked down, the living room was filled up with water. We were told to put a white shirt on our door and then the National Guard that was going around our neighborhood would see that and know that we needed to be rescued. The water, when the, the canoe guys came to pick us up, was up to this mark here. The people with the canoes came up right here. Came and up right here. They, and picked, on they the put boat. them on the boat and took them. And I was dragging the um, air mattress with our, all our clothes with, and our luggage on with it. With a few things that we could grab, you know. I just stuffed some stuff in the bag and we left. Multiple people alongside my brother started calling me because my mom wasn't picking up her phone, so they thought maybe something was wrong. And I called Bright. Bright busted out crying. Like, Bright, what is it? Tell me, are you okay? Mom, it's you. I can't reach you. I said, Bright, calm down. It took me minutes to calm Bright down from crying. Hurricane Harvey, you know, hit Houston pretty bad in my area especially. Um, our house went through a lot of damage, you know, taking on four or five feet of water and, you know, losing most of the furniture. First time we came back, I was actually helping a friend out right down the street from here. And then I just uh, took one of his bikes and rode it down here. And I just couldn't believe, like, how much water was still in the house. I mean... I couldn't say a word. I could not talk. I was just looking around. I said, no way, no way, no way. I mean, there are a lot of treasured stuff under this rough rubble here. This is another corner piece that I, I love so much. Yeah, it's one of the things, the first thing I bought when I bought this house, you know. It's, it's hard for me to let go. It was like a beautiful home, everything was set up nice, and it's just crazy how like nothing is here now and our walls are ripped up and everything. This is still Bright's room. We have all kind of things. We still have to dig through and see things we can keep. You know, we took a big hit, but we're still pushing. Everyone's okay and that's what really matters. The materialistic things can be replaced later. You cannot replace life. So I give God the praise. I really, really thank God we are alive. It's just a little setback. Come on, Debbie. It's just a very little setback. I know we'll get back there. I believe in falling and getting up. We will bounce back. <laughs>